So Rosh Hashanah comes to the Ashon of Rosh Hashinui. It's interesting. It's a play on word, but it means the beginning of change. Now, what does that mean? It means very simple. Person has to contemplate. There's a few hours left until we're entering Yom Adin. And Yom Adin is not like a gay sketch, this, that. Somebody spoke to me last today. And he told me, Rabbi, I'd like to tell you a scenario that happened to me. He speaks about his court case that he had. He was in court once. And he told me that this was an ongoing case that he had to do. The lawyer, this is what's going on over here. First of all, before I tell you the story, the Rosh Hashanah is first called Rosh Hashinui. The beginning of change. Beginning of change. And now a person says, Rabbi, now I'm going to change? Now I'm going to say, I shouldn't be changing the whole, uh, the whole year. Now I'm going to change Rosh Hashanah. Uh, so let me explain. There's a Midrash Tan Huma that says that we read uh, about Yishmael and Hagad, that Yishmael got, got thrown out of uh, Abraham's house, obviously for good reasons. And, uh, and he needed Ezra, he needed, he needed a savior when he was outside Abraham's house. And the Malachim said, don't save him. Why? You know what he's going to do, his descendants are going to do to the Jewish people? Don't save him. And, uh, and Hashem says, there's a, there's a wording over there, Ba'asher Husham. Ba'asher Husham means where you are at. Where you are at, that's where he's going to be judged. Where you are at. That's where you're going to be judged, where you are at. So on Rosh Hashanah, you're going to judge where? Where you are at. Where are you holding at that day of Rosh Hashanah? Where are you at? At that moment of judgment, the Yom Adin. However, there's a Rambam in the Chod Shuvah that says Rosh Hashanah is a time where Hashem is taking all the uh, the Averot and all the mitzvot and weighing them on a scale and balancing out if you're a tzaddik or rasha or, or benoni, he's balance, balancing everything out. So how does that, how does that uh, uh, match up to what we just said? Is it where you're at? Or is it, or is it a whole judgment of, of everything uh, that you've done in the past? So the answer to this question, maybe we could answer like this. Of course you're getting judged on everything in the past. That's for sure. You can't take that away. What did you do? You throw everything out of the garbage the whole year, whatever you did. That's it. Just gone with the wind because I'm judged where I'm at. Of course. So how does the answer up the Midrash Tan Huma? You judge where you're at. The answer is that day of Rosh Hashanah is so powerful. And the Kabbalah the, the acceptance of knowing and all the time of saying, Hashem, you're my king, you're my king, you're my king. And the fact that you're going to change and the fact that you really took it seriously before Rosh Hashanah and you wrote something down. I'm not to write it down. Say, this year I'm changing this. This year I'm doing this. Now, don't make a whole bucket list. I'm changing this, I'm doing that, that, that. Because you know what's going to happen at the end? What's going to happen is you're not going to do any of it. You're going to fall out after, after, after two weeks. Oh, I can't do it anymore. You throw out the whole thing. Take something that you always want to do, and say, this time I'm going strong. No matter what, no matter how hard it's going to be, this is what I'm doing. No matter what, this is what I'll do. Something that you want to do, something that you want to change, not too crazy difficult, but take it upon. I'll never forget, I remember back in the day, I went to one of my, one of my rebellion in the yeshiva. I said, this Hashanah, I'm learning. I told him this amount of hours. He tells me, okay, fine. Now cut that in half. Why? Well, that's what I want to do. Cut in half. Then I cut in half. I came back to him. This is what I'm doing. He says, no, no, no. Cut that in half too. Whoa. So what am I doing at the end of the day? This is you're actually going to keep. The thing, whatever you wanted to do, you, your neshama really wants it. But by the end of the day, let's, let, 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 let's be real right now. And, and, and do something, uh, uh, take it upon yourself that you, can, that you really want to do and that you can do, you feel that you can do it, and do it. Go with it. And that's Ba'asher Usham. That's exactly what I mean. That Hashem judges you on the now, meaning to say, He sees from now what you plan on being. So therefore, it's such a powerful uh, Kabbalah. It's as if it's already done. And that's Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashinui. It's a time of change. It's a time of 
contemplating. It's a time of rejuvenating. It's a time of coming back and relax and seeing exactly what I have to improve on. Really, all the time I have to come improve on. But especially, especially now on the day of where you're coming in. I know what I do. I, I Myself, I personally have like a paper. I put it with me. I, I put it on the side where I'm, where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing in Hashanah from New Year to next year. And keep it and hold it. And like that, you'll, you'll have that change as if you're a whole new being. Rosh Hashinui, the beginning of change.